Hey guys, welcome in Code Java Interview Question and Answer. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about one of the very important Code Java multi-threaded interview question. And question is here: What do we understand by busy waiting thread, and how to prevent busy waiting? So let's try to understand the concept, and uh, we'll see uh, finally an example to understand this concept as well. Uh, when we talk about the busy waiting thread. BG waiting means implementations that wait for an event by performing some active computations that let the thread or process occupy the processor uh, all although it could be removed uh, by it by the uh, scheduler so here uh, some sometimes uh, basically thread uh, uh, is not doing the any uh, basically meaningful task and uh, and your thread is uh, basically kind of busy for nothing right so those kind of uh, uh, computations or that those kind of waiting by the thread can be uh, basically uh, stopped and uh, uh, you can stop you can prevent by the some approach right what could be the approach we'll talk uh, after a certain while right and uh, once you stop those kind of uh, processing then a scheduler would be on the position to remove those kind of thread and that will provide the that will give the chance to the other thread to execute some meaningful task yeah now here an example for busy waiting could be to spend the uh, the waiting time within a loop that determines the current time again and again until certain uh, point in time is reached so here you can see uh, uh, i have created a thread basically using anonymous approach and within the run method just uh, initially i have noted time in millis to a stop and just uh, getting the current time in millis and just adding 5000 and uh, after that uh, getting the current time in millis and in loop what we are trying to do time in millis uh, uh, to a stop is greater than current time in millis right and in, in, inside the loop just we are again noting down the current time in millis and whenever this condition gets true only the rest of the code will be executed by the thread right so that's the kind of a vg waiting example of vg waiting now how can we prevent vg waiting one way to prevent vg waiting is is to put the current thread to sleep for a given amount of time and this can be done by calling the method sleep right by passing the number of milliseconds to sleep as an argument right so here uh, this is the perfect example which pre previously what we have seen busy waiting so if you write code in this way then you can prevent the busy waiting right so same code uh, i have written in the uh, eclipse so let me uh, explain you so here just to save some time just i have written this code offline and i'm going to make you understand right so how basically here using anonymous class i have written a thread and inside the run method here just we are calculating the time in millis to stop so just we are, we are getting the current time in millis and just adding 5000 in this right and again we are getting the current time in millis what i have explained in the slide and here if uh, and here this will be uh, fixed right but this will be continue changing right and and once this condition gets true then a uh, thread will come out to this loop so here whatever uh, whatever waiting time i have given to the basically thread that is uh, that is basic kind of uh, just wasting the time this uh, utilizing the cpu for nothing right so this kind of uh, code we can replace by the sleep method right if i run this application then you'll see after a certain while once this loop will be uh, i mean exit then this rest of the code will be executed now second uh, i mean we can prevent this kind of waiting uh, what we can do we can remove this entire code by sleep method only right uh, the entire code right and time in milliseconds just you can provide to the sleep method so here you can see all the things i have removed time in millis to stop just i have assigned to 5000 this five seconds right this is the time in milliseconds right so if you convert into that second then this is a five second and here you can make it the thread, thread dot sleep and just you can pass this as an argument right so this entire code i have replaced with thread dot sleep and uh, this is the code basically we should write so if you put the slate into the if, if you put a thread into sleep then uh, i mean a scheduler can basically a scheduler can allow other thread to use the cpu time for meaningful task right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button if you didn't subscribe kk java tutorials till then please go ahead and subscribe it if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can 
refer our website kkjabatrolls.com guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial